Next up, it's Bedford Modern School on the Berkshire Station. To the left of your picture, King's College School. They're up against on the Buck Station. It's eights again, so the power, the raw power at the start in this heat. And schoolboy eights in this, we're used to seeing 32 in the draw of this, 24 entries. Here's obviously the gather at a different time, summer holidays, school campaigns, tougher potentially to keep in, but it's made such good racing early in this event. I've really enjoyed watching these um, schoolboys racing and uh, seeing how they've been managing their boats. Another flying start. This is King's College School. Uh, Flown out the blocks here, Bedford Modern unable to respond, but a very quick lead established by King's College School, and they've gone on and built on that further down the water. So this Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup heat looks to be going the way of King's College School at this stage. They've got a hugely crafted yeah. out. Bedford Modern, they raced yesterday, beating Sir William um, Borlays there, and this crew that we're seeing leading now, um, King's College School, they were given a bye, selected crew, and you can see why they were selected from their results earlier on in the season, but they, they ha really have um, raced this race well, got a lead, and look at that, they are um, really managing their crew well. As big a lead as we've seen all morning, really substantial lead that they've got there. Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. The actual trophy was made back in 1802, so it's a good one to get your hands on. And it's uh, going back to 1946, this event, first visit of Her Majesty the Queen to Henry Raw Regatta uh, when she was Princess Elizabeth before she was the monarch. And Tim, it's not surprised this um, King's College School crew has been selected. The seven of them were originally in the GB Junior Trials process before the cancellation of GB participation in the international events this summer. And so again, the COVID story, if you like, these athletes, instead of being um, potentially at the World Juniors, they were meant to be this week. And um, they are here racing um, at Henny Borbogato. And it's not a bad second, is it? Not a bad second at all, no. So, King's College School are going to progress through. They haven't got too far to go. In front of Stewart's enclosure, Bedford Modern have found it tough going right from the off. What a start King's College School enjoyed it. It's a, a battle of psychology, this one. Uh, King's College School laid down such a marker so early. Yeah, it's great to see. And I think it'll be interesting for these schoolboys. They'll have had such a different experience. Instead of the usual school programme, we've seen them racing at different regattas. This crew won at Kingston Regatta um, about four weeks ago, I think it was. And they have opened their campaign here at Henley with a victory, having um, kept their season going um, and making sure that they are ready here for Henley Ball Regatta. So well done to Long, Forbes, Guggleman, Day, Heathcote, Townsend, Dundee and Monaghan. Kenny James, the Cox, there they are. They are victorious. King's College School. A bit more work to be done for Bedford Modern. Very distinctive vests. BMS, Bedford Modern School on the back. And great to see what they've done and achieved in here. They, they have acknowledged that it's been a difficult project to manage this year, but they're here at their gatter. They raced on the Thursday and they should be proud of their performance. Right. 